Hello everyone and now welcome to a game. This is going to be Happy vs. Remind taking place here on Rusty Creek 1.1. Happy spawning as the yellow undead on the top right hand side of the map. Currently going at 4 times speed. Meanwhile we have Remind spawning as the orange night elf. Heroes of choices will be, well, most likely Keeper of the Grove going up against, nope, Demon Hunter going up against a Death Knight. No surprises in the hero department from Happy this time around as this game now gets underway. Under now, attack. Demon Hunter early on getting up to that high level, level 3 and level 5, extremely important. Being able to shut down enemy heroes, being able to effectively use that mana burn, and by taking down those units and removing their mana, removing much of their killing potential. Remind already out with the Demon Hunter here, hasn't yet used any mana as the Death Knight now wandering around using that Rod of Necromancy to begin creeping out this Forest Troll Berserker creep camp. The Wildkin is a stronger, beefier unit, but the Forest Troll Berserker deals more damage and is a bit of a glass cannon, prior prioritizing the targets so that you're able to take down the easier to kill units that deal more damage and hopefully are able to creep more effectively. Coming back through, Demon Hunter and the Archer continuing to do a bit of creeping. Now going after this giant sea turtle creep camp. And one of the downfalls of going for an earlier Demon Hunter though, is that the Night Elf does not have any access to the damage early on. Those Treants are able to do a lot of damage to that medium armor and is able to effectively creep out much faster as we're looking at the Sea Turtle hatching now getting shut down across here. Death Knight sitting at level 2 picks up a, um, a Cloak of Shadows and will need to pick up a second Rod of Necromancy as he's already gone through many of those charges already selling the Cloak of Shadows and the Ring of Protection, both sides off to the races in the hero department, trying to level up their heroes um, already. Demon Hunter sitting at level 2, pulling back, does have Claws of Attack plus 5, looking to perhaps take down this Kobold Tunneler Creep Camp. Off on the other side here, Death Knight looking to clear out the Centaur players for it, as both players playing pretty much a 1v1 game against the computers so far, hoping to perhaps get a higher level up here. Demon Hunter actually perhaps not really wanting um, not really wanting to clear out the creep camp, instead picking up the assassin that has access to that, uh, that poison bit of damage. There's that slow poison early on that and being able to access some of that damage as that you can see that the assassin is right there. There's a little bit of that damage once more. The assassin should be hitting multiple targets and by hitting multiple targets, allowing that damage over time, you can see Remind really Players using that micro well trying to make sure that no real damage sits on that assassin because it is such an expensive target early on. Coming back around, Death Knight already sitting at level 3, continuing to clear out three camps as well as we could be getting, well, very, very high high level um, heroes in this matchup since so much creeping is going on against each other already. Alright, another Cobalt Hunter is going to get taken down. Level 3 on the Demon Hunter opening up with level 2 mana burn already as this assassin taking a couple of bits of damage but now able to walk away. Alright, Skeletal Minion doing a attack. little bit of creep checking sees that this creep camp has already been cleared out as the Demon Hunter and now makes its way off to the side here, perhaps trying to clear up this Goblin Merchant Shop. Death Knight, and winning slightly in the experience race, sitting at level three and a half already, could be able to get to level um, well, level four fairly fast. We now see a Naga Sea Witch out here onto the battlefield. The boots of speed may be needed. Demon Hunter going to try and aggro the Centaur Sorcerer and the Outrunner here, and we'll have the Ancient of War take all of this damage. Mana burn, yes, another new map. There are so many new maps to try and go to. I think I've seen a couple of 2v2s on this map as the potion of greater mana is dropped right there. Naga Sea Witch has plenty of mana. Once more, you can see the, what, the searing arrows from that impaler as the last outrun to get taken down. Death Knight continuing to clear out the big camps here. Should be just shy or should actually just get to level 4 or just be just shy. It's going to be awfully close. Still has a potion of greater mana as both sides are just not 
choosing the fight against each other just quite yet. Death Knight looking to finish things off there. There is that last force troll getting up to level 4 on that Death Knight with level 2 Unholy Aura. Meanwhile, inside the base already, trying to put in a bit of pressure. Frost Nova onto the Lich as the Demon Hunter trying to catch on, catch up over to that Lich now. Attack. Meanwhile, the Death Knight taking this opportunity, saying to himself, you know what, you can chase this Lich. I don't believe it's going to be that big of a problem for me. And on the top of that, I can go ahead and try and get even more experience and more gold and from clearing out creep camps. Is that going to be a smart proposition here as the Lich is still running around? The Death Knight should be able to get a Death Whale off onto that Lich here in just a moment. Going to go back for that Tome of Agility as the Lich is now down to 86 hit points. Incoming incoming Death Coil. Is that Fell Boar going to cause a problem? And a Manor Burn kill. A beautiful, beautiful move by Remind. Getting the Manor Burn kill. I thought a Critter was going to perhaps be the one to be the downfall. But no, not the case. The Death Knight, ape or the Death Knight, brought his unholy aura boost over here to the Lich, and having it move slightly faster. But the Demon Hunter able to close in on that distance and finish it off with a mana burn. Death Knight now re running all the way back off to the north. The Lich does resurrect rather quickly, but it's really that simple loss and gain of experience there as the Naga Siege now getting closer to level two, and also the loss of time as the Death Knight now needs to retreat back and regroup himself, allowing the Naga Siege to get to level two, and perhaps the Demon Hunter getting closer to level four. I don't know if the Lich would be survive if he's not blocked by the ghouls. Um, it looked as though it was a split second difference, but the mana burn did hit the target pretty quickly right there. All right, Razor main chieftain and these Razor men brutes here. Demon Hunter in that front line spot. Perhaps going to try and go after some of these units. There's a mana burn. There's a fork lightning. Units trying to slow down just a little bit. Slow poison coming across from those dryads as those units retreat all the way back, only to re-engage again, dividing and conquering these creep camps to minimize the amount of damage it deals. All right, Razor main chieftain taking down. Going to go ahead and pick up devotion aura for the demon Hunter. Meanwhile, the Quill Boar Hunter going to get taken down here. Off to the north once more. Um, well, there goes a large, large creep as well. Obsidian statue with the well, essence of blight healing up all of these units. And the Lich now with an orb of corruption able to stand against his opponents. 46 supply compared to 37 as the Lich now well, still wanders around the battlefield. Now with the support of oh, some druids of the claw, you will be able to cast some well, timely rejuvenations if the battles do go long. Where is that demon hunter though? That is the question. Where is the demon hunter? Demon hunter is well difficult to oh demon hunter causing problems on the undead army. Trying to find orange on an orange map a little bit difficult. There's a quick roar right there. Plus 22 damage on the Demon Hunter between the roar, the orb of, and that orb of Venom. Damage now being racked back up here as this creep camp will be cleared out. Another level 7 item going to be dropped right there. What is going to be the item dealt with? Giant strength, but now needing to do a tactical retreat as we just now try to retreat back away. Lich doesn't have enough mana. Death Coil and Onos finishes off that Naga, or finishes off that Archer. Mana burn on the Lich as the Lich now being forced to try and well back here. Obsidian Statue, more mana burns are going to be in order, and the Death Knight is stumbling again as the Demon Hunter has been able to play his game consistently, constantly mana burning and shutting down the hero hero burns of the Death Knight and that lit. It goes to show why a Demon Hunter first is such a powerful hero and why it was such a common hero throughout the ages. Alright, we're looking at a Kryptian. Kryptian, one more shot is going to get taken down. It finally goes to death, or bears not trying to stand on the battle for a Venom, trying to finish off the Destroyers as the Destroyers now trying to retreat back. More damage still racking up on through. 40 supply compared to 42. Even after all of those kills here, it looks as though Remind is a little bit further behind. Does have four, but is just going to be devoured magic once again as the damage is now racking back up. Alright, there goes the Crypt Fiend trying to save some of those lower hit points. That bear, that for preservation saves one. That bear not going to be nearly as lucky as both sides are still fighting their way through. Death Knight, Tagar type of insight. Are we going to see another Druid of getting taken down? Yes, we are. And after all of those exchanges, the death of two bears may actually put Remind a little bit behind in this situation as we see, um, well, experience a very, very comparable, except for the fact that the Lich, well, needs to get to level three. Now, 
Once the Lich does get to level 3, even then, it may not be enough. Death Knight is also going to need to get up to level 5. And with the Pipe of Insight, perhaps enough mana can be had for that Lich and those Obsidians that he's looking for. Coming back around, that's, a, that's that nasty double, double level up that we were expecting. And here we are, Remind needs to get up to level 5 and in a hurry in order to get that unlock that level 3 mana burn. Otherwise, it is just going to be simply too much once again. All right, rejuvenation onto the Demon Hunter in that front line spot. Druid up a lot, taking a little bit of damage as well. The Demon Hunter just trying to shake off much of that damage and able to pick things up right there. What is that last item? It was Endurance Aura, it appears. So faster movement speed. Demon Hunter could be in a lot of trouble down to 160, 159, trying to retreat back away. That movement speed bonus is actually helping quite a bit. We could see a Staff of Preservation. Demon Hunter down to 100 hit points. Are we going to see a little bit of damage there as the bear now getting body blocked by the death knight that unholy aura level two making faster movement speed oh tried the staff of preservation but a quick frost nova takes it down thank you for the cheer um, every every little bit does definitely help um, thank you for everyone on YouTube who has, you know, started watching my videos once again. And thank you for all of the recent subscribers, both here on Twitch and on YouTube. Um, I'm not doing this for the money. Otherwise, it would be, be a complete waste of time um, as I don't get paid much. But I, without the money, I could not do this. So thank you for all of your support um, and just viewing and watching I hope you guys are enjoying warcraft 3 here in 2022 death knight looking to clear the remainder of this creep camp here level 5 on the death knight level 3 on the lich demon hunter on the other hand here still needing just a bit more experience to get to level 5 maybe just shy after this here as he takes down that last item destroys it and um, so that no one else can pick it up naga sea witch um, well, there's Endurance Aura here. Is there double Endurance Aura? No, just on the Naga Sea Witch. The Naga Sea Witch bringing about both Devotion and Endurance Aura. And now wandering around the map here as there is one Creep Camp left. All right, that Creep Camp, however, goes to the Death Knight. And well, that could be the problem here. There's one more, a little bit more damage, a little bit more. And the Demon Hunter, five experience away from level five. That could be the downfall. That difference of 50 mana is absolutely huge in terms of mana burn and how much damage can be done. Looking for that last creep camp here. Doesn't see. I don't see anything out on the on the map whatsoever. As the demon hunter comes across, gets a mana burn quickly off, and now trying to retreat back. More rejuvenation is in store, but once again, a devour magic from the destroyer quickly stops much of that healing again. Destroyers generating mana and hit points off of that delicious devour magic. As we're seeing them continuing the fight back here again. All right, units looking to retreat back once more demon hunter still sitting at 825 wants to get some mana burns off perhaps can get some mana burns off onto these obsidian statues as well and by just mana burning obsidian statues um, you do take away some of their precious hit points and make them open for just to get them cleaned up a little bit later all right there's another quick war demon hunter is going to try and mana burn no there's death coil frost nova and already at half-life death knight able to back away as the demon hunter now looks to try and retreat all right there is level five now on the demon hunter big devour magic across multiple units there as you can see this expansion is going to get destroyed before it is going to be operational all right Coming back across here, Crypt Fiend's going to clean up everything as well. Level 5, level 3 going up against level 5, level 3 Remind. However, now sitting on one base but does have the Moonwell upgrades. And that should be extremely helpful. Druids of the Claw. Two more uh, Druids of the Claw getting added in here again. Hippogriffs have Roar. Uh, so are going to be able to deal significant damage also have that endurance or have endurance and also devotion aura as the demon hunter continually gets well picked on by the death knight and that lich little bit of trailing damage again as the death knight and the lich get in the position perhaps trying to open things up there's some more devour magic and there is the units trying to retreat back away nothing to slow down those destroyers or keep them in place to allow the hippogriffs to um to really poke apart their that final target all right coming back through demon hunter uh hippogriffs now trying to make their way back over units are still trying to retreat back they're going to be able to retreat back again as we're looking at the main bases only having about five minutes of mining left 
crypt fiends on the retreat obsidian statues this army of the undead what is happy really trying to buy his time for he's trying to figure out the proper positioning in this engagement perhaps remind's going to overcommit with that demon hunter and end up getting too much of a blast between death coil and frost nova and then just trying to open things up there all right there is a staff of teleportation on the demon hunter he can get back into the fight after a bunch of um after a bunch of damage with that staff of teleportation getting back in and teleporting well, yeah, teleporting back into the fight with the help of these moon wells, as these moon wells are still fairly full overall. Naga Sea Witch trying to like use these items up and up. What is this? An illusion right there. A bunch of hippogriffs going to be moving off together as the hippogriffs perhaps are going to get blasted and stunned. Hippogriffs trying to see is there an expansion up and operational? There is no expansion right there as the units are going to be getting into position here. All right, where are they going? Naga Sea Witch going to try and engage. Crypt Fiends could try and web things down, and that's perhaps what he's hoping for, that the illusions are actually get webbed down first. All right, Death Well, Frost Noble, Fork Lightning units going to try and go ahead and engage, and you can see the Hippogriffs are trying to poke down, but all of the real Hippogriffs actually, um, actually getting webbed down while the illusions are still alive. One Crypt Fiend does get lost, and 63 supply compared to 67 right there only one or two fake hippogriffs and now getting well webbed down and destroyed there they go disappearing into nothing players well 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 and some moon wells yep off to the north here another illusion hippogriff gonna get destroyed here we are going into the engagement hippogriffs trying to change and dive after all of those units there goes and um, load some damage onto the destroyer destroyer down to 102 hit points it gets destroyed as the web now finally stopping many of these hippogriffs fork lightning now coming back across 65 supply compared to 58 this is a big fight for everything here as the bears are in the front line destroyers have plenty of mana able to deal significant damage to those druids of the cloth 59 supply compared to 58 death knight now being forced to back away as he does not have any real mana there as the bears are still pushing on through death knight now still caught in a rather a difficult position here as more damage still racking the back up no staff of pre oh, staff of preservation number one now going through death knight now trying to get away how much damage is going to be had here as the dryads unable to spot that death knight as it turns around the corner but the demon hunter is right there mana burn finishes off the death knight and the classic demon hunter versus death knight matchup goes in favor of night elf remind after the demon hunter got to level five that the difference between a hundred point mana burn and a hundred and fifty point mana burn simply cannot be overstated as at that point the demon hunter can keep both the lich and the death knight in check on their mana the death knight actually venturing a little bit too far into the fight got forced and separated and once that separation happened well the death knight was unsure of how to regroup with his party also the fact that the death knight couldn't heal up some of those units in that frontline spot even though it did have a potion of mana really started to add to its problems let me know what you guys thought thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed it